Among Monster High's various characters, Cleo Denial stands out as a fan favorite known for her glamorous fashion sense and bossy personality. With the release of the third generation of Monster High, fans were introduced to an updated version of Cleo Denial, one that fits modern standards, meaning she has a curvier body type than before. There have been many Cleo dolls released so far, but one definitely stands out to me and it's none other than the Cleo with her vanity. In today's video, I will compare the G3 Cleo Denial self Scare Day vanity set that, by the way, includes a doll to the original G1 Cleo Denial vanity set, which was sold without one. So without further ado, let's start. The G3 Cleo Denial vanity set not only includes a beautifully designed doll, but also features a vanity that perfectly captures Cleo's character in this new generation. However, the vanity looks less similar to the one featured in her G3 introduction music video. It was more gold, had a different design with the two wings next to the mirror, and there were no signs of hieroglyphs. Now, the vanity that comes with the G3 Cleo doll is decorated with multiple Egyptian motifs and hieroglyphs glyphs in vibrant teal, orange and gold colors that definitely resonate with the doll's royal aesthetic. Cleo's doll has long straight blue hair with highlights and streaks of silver. Her red lips with a patch of gold in the center of her lower lip accentuate her tan complexion along with her turquoise and gold eyeshadow. She wears a blue and orange skirt with snakes and scarabs on it and a shimmery gold top. On her feet are chunky gold wedges and the heels of the wedges are the most exciting thing about them because the heels are Egyptian cats. And here's a little fun fact about them for you. The sun god Ra, one of the most important Egyptian gods, is associated with cats because cats enjoy napping in the sun. But before we get lost in Egyptian symbolism, let's get on with the review. The doll's look can be changed up with two different pairs of earrings, two necklaces, rings and a wrist cuff in form of a snake. She also comes with a gold headband and a blue turban. The self scare day vanity comes with a gold blue chair and a brush for her hair. Also, the vanity drawer opens up to hold all her hair and beauty accessories, including her lipstick and the previously mentioned jewelry. In contrast, the G1 Cleo Denial vanity set is a nostalgic representation from the original series. The design reflects the early Monster High aesthetic with a more basic approach to colors and accessories. The vanity is stylized with hieroglyphs and Egyptian-inspired decor. Cleo's old vanity is gold with turquoise and black accents. Its legs are snakes in the back and feature the goddess Bastet in the front. And just because I can't move on without going into detail, here's information about Bastet. Bastet was the goddess of protection, pleasure and the bringer of good health. She had the head of a cat and a slender female body. Also, Bastet was the daughter of the sun god Ra. But now, let's move on with the review. Above the mirror hangs a translucent turquoise chandelier. And the front of the vanity has a drawer with black hieroglyphs on it, spelling the name Cleo. The vanity's gold chair has black legs with gold snakes wrapped around the front legs that form armrests. The black seat has a gold pattern in the front and a turquoise cushion. The back of the vanity features Cleo's iconic mummy skelet as well as gold snakes, gold and turquoise flowers and gold scarab wings. A variety of accessories are included with the playset, including a jewelry box, jewelry, makeup and other decor. Although the G1 set doesn't come with a doll, it is designed to be an excellent display piece for collectors who already own the G1 Cleo Denial doll. The G3 self scare vanity set offers more in general thanks to the Cleo doll included and is more colorful on top of that. Therefore, I can imagine it being more appealing to a younger audience as well. On the other hand, the G1 vanity set mostly provides a charm and nostalgia for fans of the first generation. It is an interesting and exciting collectible piece, but I believe it wouldn't appeal to the younger audience anymore. The accessories of the first gen vanity are just too small and fragile, nothing a child is going to show interest in. So, in summary, choosing between the G3 Cleo Denial self scare day vanity set and the G1 Cleo Denial vanity set ultimately comes down to personal preference and intended use. The G3 set is perfect for interactive play, appealing to younger audiences and fans looking for modern designs, while the G1 set holds a charm for collectors who appreciate the original style and nostalgia. Personally, I really like both vanities. They are both so different and have potential for photography. A 
Additionally, I can say that I think that the G1 Clio looks very good sitting in the G3 Vanity's chair, but this also applies for G3 Clio sitting in the G1 Clio's chair. Both sets can be used in so many different ways, which is the most important thing to me. What do you think of the Vanity play sets and do you have a favorite out of them? Leave a lipstick emoji in the comments if you're still watching this video. Subscribe to my channel to not miss out on future content I'll create and I'll hopefully see you next time again. Bye!